today to autotalkvideo.com. Here in my library, I have an interesting little clip that I want to show you today. But before I get into that, I was reading this book and it was off my shelf. And it's a book called Chapman's Car Compendium. And it's also subtitled The Essential Book of Car Facts and Trivia. There you go. Good look at it. It was published in 2008, I believe, by Gills Chapman, and he's a longtime auto writer, author, over 25 years, I know. He's been writing and putting stuff together and testing cars all over the world. This is a collection of a lot of things that he's come across over his career. And they're fun facts, lots of trivia. I read it occasionally when I just am bored and need something to stimulate my mind. I look in and see all these things. The other day, I turned to page 130 in this book. The title on the page got my attention. It's called Approach, Departure, and Breakover Angles. And of course, I knew he was talking about off-roading. And he goes on to tell a little bit about what those angles are in a list of a whole bunch of off-roading vehicles and what their angles are. And of course, high on the list are Land Rover and several different models, which all of us know have been great off-roading vehicles. You know, I learned to off-road by joining some what they call the Land Rover Experience or their driving schools, both parts of the country on the East Coast and the West Coast. They're there to teach you how to drive, how not to get stuck. I did get stuck once with the driving partner down in Asheville, North Carolina, Land Rover School. And the head instructor for Land Rover happened to be with us. Didn't take him but a few minutes to get us unstuck. He knew how to get us out of there. He was just absolutely, and still is, one of the greatest off-road instructors that you can come across anywhere in the country. However, enough for that. It reminded me and set off a great story about off-roading. Again, I want to mention more, but if you'd be interested, I have a couple different books of Mr. Chapman's. I'm sure you could pick this up and you can find it on the line somewhere. It's not that old. It's still available out there in bookstores or used bookstores around the, the country or the world. Uh, I highly recommend that you'd have a lot of fun if you were to pick up a copy. But reading this little bit about Land Rover and remembering my experiences both with Land Rover and, and uh, even with Jeep as I drove the Rubicon with instructors from Jeep several years ago. As I was driving down the highway last fall, minding my business, and I looked over and in the medium, sitting on the ridge and the top of the medium, was an Ohio Highway Patrol car. He was stuck, he was teeter-tottering on the ridge of the medium. Now apparently he'd got a call and he needed to go the other direction so he tried to go across the medium. Betty was an inexperienced driver. Might have got a call for an accident. A lot of speed traps in that area. Maybe he had caught a speeder and was, had to go the other way. I don't know, maybe his wife was having a baby. Whatever, he sure got caught. And as I came by, I was able to video a little tiny bit of it, went to the next legal turnaround, came back, tried to video more of it, and by the time I got back, the record was already there, and man, were they moving fast to get him off that uh, little peak in the medium where he was stuck at. I'm sure he was very, very embarrassed. But anyway, I want to show you just a little bit of it. It's all I have. And thought maybe you might enjoy it and get a smile or two. Uh, I, I certainly got a big kick out of it. So watch the clip that I'm putting up here now. I thank you for joining me here in my library today. Coming back again soon. And have a good day. Buckle up. Drive safe. Bye now. U.S. Route 30, 24 miles east of Mansfield, Ohio. State Highway Patrol cruiser hung up on the hillside trying to cross the median.